Lilydone, under the bridge, on her whirlwind awards season. Accolades are wonderful, but what's really meaningful is the work. Perhaps no actor received a greater injection of exposure and career boost during the awards season just past than did Lily Gladstone, the indigenous performer who won S.A. award and a Golden Globe trophies along with an Oscar nomination for her stand-up performance in Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon. While she lost the Academy Award for Best Actress to Emma Stone for Poor Things, Gladstone benefited tremendously, significantly elevating her stature after entering the campaign as a relative unknown. I think I'm probably not going to fully metabolize it for years, she says. What's cool is that you develop this camaraderie with people who are going through it with you, and there's this collective relief when you get to see each other on the other side of it all. I was at the Met Gala last night with Dove and Joy Randolph, and we were just talking about how nice it was to be there and just be ourselves without having a project we were selling or promoting. We get to just show up, talk about what we're wearing, and have a nice evening. Watch the exclusive video interview above. Gladstone actually handled herself with uncommon class and grace while making the interview and awards show appearance rounds and was particularly chill about her Oscar nomination, making it clear that she wasn't hanging her life on winning. I mean accolades are wonderful and meaningful, she notes, but what's really meaningful is the work. It's a gift to be able to do this and to keep doing this. Effie Quinn Shepard and Samir Mehta Under the Bridge on casting Lily Gladstone and Riley Keough to star. It was literally kismet. To that end, Gladstone is now back on the circuit again with a new project, the eight-part Hulu limited series docudrama, Under the Bridge, that premiered on April 17 and streams a new episode each Wednesday through May 29. Based on the 2005 book of the same name by the late Rebecca Godfrey, it tells the heartbreaking story of the real-life 1997 murder of Rena Verk, a 14-year-old Canadian girl in British Columbia whose South Asian roots led to her being discriminated against, targeted, bullied, and ultimately killed. Gladstone co-stars with Riley Q in the role of Cam Bentland, an indigenous policewoman adopted into a white, all-male family of cops and a character created for the adaptation. The case itself is little known in the United States, but in Canada might be compared to the tragedy of Matthew Shepard in the U.S. West.